So we've got ABKC paperwork. <laughs> we've got UKC registration. We've got ABKC registration. Which paperwork has the most power? Which one gets you that, that, that the highest dollar? Because that's what it's about, right? That's, that's what it's really. When people say, hey, I got a dog. How important is the paperwork? What you're asking me is, am I going to make some money if I don't have the papers? Or am I going to go broke? Is it going to be a challenge? Is it going to be an opportunity? Which one holds the most weight, especially with so many registries and registrations specific to the American Bully? Well, we know that the ABKC is the home. Home meaning one of the first founding fathers of the American Bully. So when you say, who's got the best, who's, which paperwork matters the most? ABKC, all day, every day. I thought this dog was peeing. And the UKC, they accepted the Bully moons ago, but they wanted to keep it kind of clean. So, you know, I'd say in the AB, the American Bully world, is UKC registered. There's some people who really respect that registry, being that it's been around for so long. And then there's some people like, ah, it ain't ABKC. But if you do not have a dog that has its paperwork, do not try selling dogs. Well, I mean, you can. I mean, people will pay whatever price you can justify, right? $3,000. So let's take a look. The average price point, and I'll turn this around in a second. The average price point to an American bull, let's say you sell a pup. I've seen people sell pups for $1,500. I know on average people will sell a bully for $3,000. And I know people, and I don't know them, but we've heard the stories of people that have sold dogs upwards of $500,000. And then I, I do know somebody who sold a couple dogs for $15,000. Now here's the thing, if you have your paperwork, let's say you bought a dog for $8,000. If you bought a dog for $8,000 and let's say it was a female, And then you bought a, you, you paid somebody's stud fee, which was, let's say, $3,000. Which is not uncommon in the American Bully. Now, all of a sudden, you're $11,000 in. What do you sell a puppy for? Well, let's say you have five pups. And you sell each pup for $3,000, which... I think it's fair. It's like a happy middle, right? Well, five times three is 15. Right off top, you've kind of you've, you've kind of made your money back. Now here's the challenge, especially if you want to be in this space for some time. You want to wait at least one year. My bad, two years. Till she's of age to have this litter. No less than three heats, which means she's at least 16 to 18 months Oh, Now let's talk about the risk when waiting as much time. When you, rate one, when, you, when you wait two years, you increase the risk of pyometria. If your dog gets pyo, what is it happening? You lose all that money. <laughs> and you only lose the money because you were interested in the money and not the dog. And you did, probably didn't keep your yard clean and a few other things. <laughs> it, it, it happens to the best of them, believe it or not. I know a guy right now who, he didn't spend that, that dollar on the dog. But I'll tell you one thing. That dog was gorgeous and he was going to breed her and she called Pio. Now, the great breeder my friend is, hey, leave that alone. The great breeder that my friend is, he said, you know what we'll do is we'll use one of your credits on her sister because he bought a credit, I believe, to a dog that's kind of popular. And who's going to use her? He says, well, you, I'll let you use it on the, the, the sister. And basically, we'll whoop the litter, etc. And you can sell, sell the dogs and, and get your money. That's also not happening a lot of times in the American Bully. Somebody who's going to do right by you and help you out. But when someone, and, I, and I'm saying this because someone also said, hey, I just had a litter. How much can I sell my pups for? Guys, as soon as you get a chance, start building your brand, showing your dogs and their development. So that when people do see your dogs, it's not out of the blue. Because if people, when people spend this kind of money, 
they want to trust you, right? They want to know beyond a reasonable doubt that they're getting a quality dog. How are they going to get a quality dog if, I mean, I guess they could trust your word, but if they never see the dogs in action, they never see the dogs in motion, they never see the dogs doing what dogs do, and that's just having a good time and enjoying the family even. So when you get, you know, a guy with, and I'm using following as a point of reference, it doesn't matter. You can have a hundred followers and if every person that follows you is a dog lover, you can sell your dogs. That's the thing. Because it's not about quantity, it's about quality. And even the people who are uh, privy, if you were to our following, you know, I mean, it's a following, but we haven't translated everything into a business yet. But part of the business is really building the brand, and the brand is communication, clarity, truth, and us just taking care of the dogs. They're, that way, when we do have dogs, we'll be like, yo, I need a dog right now. I need that dog. I love those dogs. I've watched that dog grow up. I can't wait till he has some dogs. So please let me know when, when you know, the pups are coming. And some people said, I'll wait to 2024 for a dog from Chacha. And I'm like, Chacha hasn't even grown up yet. You know, he's four months old. <laughs> but... You don't want to come out of the blue and just have some, hey, I got these dogs. Because then you also start taking a step back and losing. And you don't want to lose in this space. Not if you can help it. Because these are big investments, especially if you want to breed. But I repeat, I don't know why people think it's such a lucrative space. We analyze businesses based on the barrier to entry. If anybody can do it, you better do it the best it's ever been done. And because that still would take you three to five years. Hey! Because that would still take you three to five years to do, if not 10, now you've got to really be invested, which is why the plan is so important. So if you get a dog for $8,000, what's your plan? Because either way it goes, nine out of 10 times, you've got 10 plus years with the dog. So on that note, as I continue to find ways to help educate and draw perspective for you, take care of your dogs, like, subscribe, share, T-Fit here with Fit Booty TV.